also you. Aw, you're me and I'm you. I am you and you are me and we are all together. I saw this video the other day that uh, uh, was, um, not that I, I told my wife we should do this, it was a Halloween party. I was like, wait, where are you going with this no, story? Well, I'll, I'll explain. Hi, it was a Halloween party and, and uh, it was all uh, couples that came as each other. So they, they, they dressed like their spouse. So. My placebo is intact. <laughs> That's what it's called. Really? Everyone, it is, right? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone thinks I'm like just a pervert. <laughs> what? She's what? We never what? said you were just a pervert. <laughs> I'm so much more. <laughs> so, can you guys talk about? Hi, by the way. Can you talk about the process of writing this? Because this is very different than you know a television script or even a novel or a comic. You know, it's an audio drama. It's a different medium. Um, what was that like? What was your approach? I mean, you want to. We, we were really lucky actually because years ago we did a, uh, an online animated series at the BBC called Ghosts of Albia that we wrote together and Amber directed. And, but Anthony um, Daniels is it? <laughs> <laughs> and um, and it was uh, it was great. It was a great experience. Um, but while we were doing that, we found out partway through the process that they were also going to want to um, play it on BBC Radio. And that was a trial by fire for us to even go back and look through the scripts we'd already written. Be like, and what would the experience it. of this be if you're only listening to it? So we had that sort of background already yeah. to be able to kind of get into it. But it was great, it was really fun. No, and we were really, really lucky. Our, the, the people we were working with at Audible, Lydia and Meg, they're big fans, but they're also, they know the audio world. And so we would veer maybe a little too much to, to just sort of like you needed more context and Lydia would be like no 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 we have to be able to hear it you need to let us know what's actually happening in an auditory way versus in a visual I know it looks on the script like it's gonna be easy um, and then the other I think really hard part was we have Leia De Leon Hayes who's incredible and she is our entree into this world and she you know not a fan of the info dump and it's always boring, but when you give all this information and you do it in a fun way, where she's a fan of this mythology, and you have her doing it, it makes all the, the info dumpy stuff awesome. So just, if you want to write an audio drama, make sure she's in it. <laughs> yeah. and we, you know, it was a learning curve, but we yeah. you know. Uh, I'm a filmmaker who's uh, just recently, last year, moved over to the start of the Awesome. Why is it the last one for me? Do not do that. Wow, this is like so much easier than the dog. Like, it's easier to play, there's less steps. So, oh, yeah. There's just so many less steps. Like, I could put something that I wrote, and it's more immediate to get it to. To take like farm to table much more yes. quickly, and how's that experience been like it's working on that? It's so much more accessible as a creator. You get to do stuff like when, when you want to make a film or a television show, you really do like you have to have a lot of money and you have to have all these moving parts. And it takes forever, and this like it's it's audio and you your actors, and if you can just get those two things in there, and then have Casey Wayland, who is also a co-director and producer, who did all of the sound design. He and his and team. His did. team were they were incredible. They did the Dolby Atmos version of it. They, we were in a Dolby Atmos stage mixing. Like they were incredible. So you have that that department who steps up and posts, and it just it's a, it's a much more accessible. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. But like I imagine, especially like, like you miss like something. calm down. Like, oh, you have a soul missed map. Line. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Get everybody here. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> just like yeah. can you go yeah. say that yeah. really yeah. quickly? Yeah. 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 No, it was so much better. It's so much better. Yeah. <laughs> and the studio experience. Uh, with everybody just there, looking at each other. Recorded all together. Yeah. Do you ever refer back to old radio dramas? You know, I mean, it was kind of the men of the medium back then. I love... I, I, go ahead. No, I love old radio dramas, and actually, I participated in, uh, in L.A., there's this thing called the Thrilling Adventure Hour. Yeah, and they were doing all this amazing audio drama stuff. We had, there was a sound effects person, and music, and amazing actors. Yeah, and like, it was incredible. And uh, so I, I just, I've always loved the medium. I love listening to audiobooks. I love podcasts. I, 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 this is a world I like playing. I mean, for me, it's the immersion. You know, the I, I mean, I love audiobooks, but to do a, an original series like this, um, it's Audible the total immersion. You close your eyes. Slayers. Yes. The Audible <laughs> original podcast. Slayers, a Buffyverse story. 
Um, but the immersion of it and the ability to feel like you're there with these characters, I mean, uh, you know, every fan of this world would love to be there in the middle of these characters. And I really feel like this audio experience does that in a way that television can't. It's so intimate. You, you listen to uh, headset, headphones. Um, it's like, you know, Spike is narrating the opening to you in your head. Like, he's right here whispering in your ear. And that's very intimate and, and puts you as an audience, as an audience member, a listener, into the drama. If you close your eyes, it's like it's happening around you. You can be in there. But you can't do it on TV. So on TV, you're, you're watching, you're not a participant. <laughs> Two ways. Go ahead. <laughs> Who can Amber call? <laughs> Whose phone number did I have? Uh, and who, who did we love? Like, these are all people I adore. Who I genuinely am happy to see. <laughs> when the, we were at a convention together, I'm like, hugs. Real. Oh, I love you guys. And it's real. You know, it's not bullshit. It's actually like we care about each other. It's it, it, for me. It's there. There are these personal relationships that Amber has, but that I also have. Most of these cast members I've known for a yeah. long time. Um, but then also, which characters do we feel like in our hearts needed to be here? Who did we want to, you know, see take another bow, give another opportunity to shine? And uh, and again, like m the best example for that is uh, is James Leary as Clem. You know, Clem was in eight episodes for a total of like hardly any minutes, but everybody loved him, including me. And I've known him for a really long time. And immediately I said, we need this comic relief sidekick character to be in this story, and it's got to be Clem because I know in my head how we can present him in a way that will make him beloved even more than he already has been. So it's that sort of thing combined, and then. Uh, not bringing him back, but adding uh, uh, Indira to the story was, was like, okay, we have to have uh, a character who's going to bring us in, a young slayer who's going to bring us into this world, um, and uh, and and be a fan and, and and share that fandom with the people who are listening. Um, and, yeah. and really, I just I also wanted to like do a, a quasi you know makeout scene with uh, Julia Landau. I mean, who doesn't want to like look across at this incredible like. Like consummate genius performer in a room, and she's like, "I'm gonna do naughty things to you." It's a little hot, a little um. Yeah. It made honestly, it made everybody in the room uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> we were all like, "No, oh, this is just." Can no, you? Selfishly, I wanted to work with her. I wanted to work with Charisma. Like these are people that I yeah. never making Charisma the Slayer yeah. was Very important. key for what we wanted to do from the beginning. Nine episodes, nine. eight hours. <laughs> we got some good shots of you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.